Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of functions in Spark, we are going to talk about the two functions position explode and position explode outer. These two functions, we are going to understand what they are. We are also going to see how we can use these two functions in SQL, Python and Scala, all the three languages that we can use with Databricks. So without any further ado, let's move on and see basically what exactly is position explode, why do we have this function and how we can use it. So when we talk about position explode, right, whenever you have an array or even the map, so basically position explode you can use, we, we usually use on array data type or we use it on map data type, right. So whenever you have, uh, you know, elements in an array or map data type we we can actually go ahead and use position explode now what happens when we use position explode with array data type what it does is it creates a row for each element of an array right so we have already seen how explode works you know we have i recommend watching all of the previous videos for a better understanding now in the similar way it will create row for each element in an array right and along with that what it will do it will also create one more column named as POS, which is nothing but position. So that position, what it will do is it will define you the position of an array. It will say 0, 1, 2, 3. So for example, let's say I have an I have an array of colors, red, yellow, blue, green. So red becomes position 0, yellow becomes position 1, uh, blue becomes position 2 and green becomes position 3. So that is the positioning in an array. So it will, when you use position explode, it creates a row for each element in an array and it also creates an additional column named as POS which is nothing but the position which defines the position of an element in an array right but when you have map right so till now I talked about array now when you have a map data type and you do position explode on that what it does is it creates two uh, 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 it creates basically uh, two extra columns named as key and value this key and value is same as explode function, right? When Whenever you do an explode on uh, map data type, this key and value comes in, right? We have seen it in our previous video that the, that the due to the map element, right? Map is what? Map is a dictionary. Dictionary has key and value. So when you do an explode, it will create each row for the each element and it will have key column and it will have the value column, right? But now when you use position explode, it has key value plus position. So three columns comes into picture, right? Position explains you the position of that particular element, that particular key value. What is the position of that particular key value, right? And in position explode, what happens is if any expression is null, right? If you have no data over there, then in that case it ignores just like your explode. And when you come to explode outer, position explode outer, what it does is, it is it the, uh, the functioning is similar to position explode, everything is same, just that position, uh, position explode outer, it keeps your null values, that's all. That is the only difference that position explode, essentially it removes the null, it doesn't, uh, you know, takes, take, takes your, it doesn't give your nulls in the output, but position explode outer, it considers null. It gives you output with the nulls, whether it is a map data type or it is an array data type. Now, this was just the theory. Now, we will move on to the Databricks portal and see how it actually happens for a better understanding because this is just words, right? So, it is always better to see it and implement it as well. So now if you see, I am in the Databricks, right? So the very first statement, this is something that I have been talking about in all my videos. So these are just the import statements. I'm just running it. These import statements are nothing, but these are built in functions. These are built in modules, which you import and you directly use them in the code. So the first is just the Scala import. So first I'll show you the Scala code itself. So if you look at, first I have done the imports and if you see in this command number five, right? So this is the same data set which I have used in my previous video on explode. Same data, right? So if you see here, I am just creating a, creating the data set. Anita, John, Vandana, Donna and Anand. So these are just the name of the people. And then the second column is nothing but a list column. It is an array column which holds the languages that they know. And the third column is a map data type column which 
holds few attributes of those people right and then i am creating a schema which tells me okay uh, that uh, the upper one is the data and this is the schema for that the first column is the name then the known languages and then the properties and then i am creating a data frame out of it pretty same thing which i have been talking about almost in all of my videos and then i am just displaying the data frame so if you look at this data frame essentially you have the name column string known languages which is an array it looks like this right and then you have the properties which is a map data type map is equivalent to dictionary in python it has set of key value pairs so for example here is the key black is its value i is the key and brown is the value so if you look here donna and anand they do not have any data right donna has null and anand has empty data right so now what you can do is position explode this is the syntax of position explode till now whatever uh, you know uh, functions i have talked about in my previous video right all of them almost have the same syntax just that the name changes so this is how you can actually use position explode this is the data frame that i want to work on the top data frame and this is how the values in my data frame look like looks like and then i'm doing select select the name of the person and then do a position explode on the known languages known languages is this right do a position explode now if i run this let's see how does it look like you know how does the output looks like okay let me run this cell as well i did not run the cell let me simply run the cell so if you see this is how my data frame looks like and then if i'm doing position explode on on that i'm running it you can see this is how the output looks like so you have the name right name of all the people that are present in that data frame df right and then and then if you look at the position explode it created two columns it created two columns on an array data type so this was an array data type known languages was an array data type over here right now what it has done is so for example for anita english and french english who held zeroth index french held first index so it gave me 0 and 1 right so similarly when you talk about john english hold zero index spanish one and null two so you can see this is how it gave the output english zero spanish one and null as the second index but we need to see whether donna and anand came into picture because they did not hold any data so if you see over here we do not have donna and anand but now if i say position explode outer so same syntax same syntax if i if i run it now you can actually see that a donna and anand both will come right so what it says is unresolved column so a functional parameter with unresolved properties okay so now let me check okay so basically the name of the column was an issue so let me put the correct name of the column and let me simply run it so the moment i do this uh, the moment i do this position explode on the same column right you can actually see that donna and anand also came in the output they ho they hold nulls because they do not have any data so this is a difference be between position explode and position explode outer so i have run this on an array data type but you can also see that i have properties column right which is a map data type so now let me do one thing let me see how we can do it on map data type so if you look here df dot select same thing right position explode on properties so properties is nothing but properties is a map data type let me take a snippet so that i can keep it side by side so now if you see over here what we have done df dot select name i'm taking this name name column from here and then i'm taking position explode on properties which is nothing but the map data type so now you can see the output right output says position right it says key and value so key and value i told you if you have watched the previous video on explode you always get key value pair in case you do uh, you know explode on properties now it is a position explode so it is giving you position plus explode right now it has key and value here black so here is the key black is the value right i is the key brown is the value right now and it also tells you the position so here plus black 
right so this part here and black this is nothing but this is position 0 right i and brown so this is position 1 so that is what this position means over here so now since it is position explode right you do not have you know the nulls right you do not have the donna and anand but if i do position explode outer over here you can actually see that donna and anand both comes into picture this is the usage of position and position explode when you talk about it in scala but when you talk about it in python this is how it looks like i've just replicated a data it is just an array right name of the people and let's say the countries they, uh, which they have visited so if i run this right now basically this is the data set this is a data set which is which i've used to create a data frame data frame has string and an array data type right this is nothing but an array data type so the same uh, data set i have used in my previous explodes video so this is how the output will actually look like name and the country right now if i want to do position explode on it what i can actually do is i can i have to first import position explode right i have to import position explode now how do i import position explode i position explode is just a function which is an inbuilt function pyspark.sql.functions import position explode now if i have to do position explode i am simply doing df.select name select the name select the name from this data frame and do a position explode on the country column so the moment i do it and i rerun it you can actually see what it will do is if you look here eric right eric eric has actually visited uk and finland now that is was an array now if you see it has converted it into two columns and it has given the position of each and every element and it does not have null but now if i do position explode let's say uh, now if i actually go ahead and do position explode outer over here and i run it right now you can see what will happen over here so it says position explode outer is not defined so uh, let me copy it and let me import it basically you need to import it to use it so the moment i do it you can actually see the output I have imported it and if you see the output over here you will see the null values also coming in you so you can see that Anna did not uh, visit any country it did not have any data this particular record if I go up so you can see over here Anna had uh, so you are getting Anna equal to none and if you look at my actual data frame which is this Anna did not visit any country so this is the difference between position explode and position explode outer and similarly if you talk about SQL which is pretty simple what I'm going to do is a simple select statement right position explode this array this is just a column which I'm creating while selecting while writing the select statement in SQL I'm just using this particular data which is nothing but array of 10 uh, 20 it will look something like this in actual uh, I'm just showing you for understanding purpose 10 comma 20 right now if you see over here this uh, this will look like 10 comma 20 but when I run it this 10 20 will actually turn into two rows right so 10 will become zeroth element and one will become uh, the for the second element basically this is, is the positioning so when you talk about arrays right so the first element of an array is zero uh, is at zero index and the second element is at first index then third element is a second index or so on so this is just the basics of programming so uh, now let's proceed also if you want to rename it so if you see what 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 has been done here so as keyword alias has been used to rename it right so to rename the pos column so everywhere you see pos right instead of pos if you want to give it any name you can give it like this right and uh, this is how you can actually use it in the sql similarly if you want to use uh, you know position explode for any map data type in sql you can go ahead and use it so map is exactly like this we have seen it in our previous videos as well now if you want to do any alias you can do the alias here so it looks like that and if you want to see whether it works with the null values or not so basically what i'm trying to do is i'm just trying to get in a null value as a array data type so inside an array i'm just putting a null value and uh, i'm just running it over here so you will see since i'm using position explode outer so it will give me the data so what is the data data is nothing but it is null that's all 
right so this is how you can actually uh, you know uh, work in uh, work in real time using position explode position explode outer function in all the three la in all the three uh, you know languages that spark offers for you scala python and sql so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe my channel